Hi everyone. Welcome to my channel, A Total Transformation. My name is Bernie. I want to thank my subscribers and my viewers today. I couldn't do this without you. You are awesome. If you like my channel, push the like, subscribe button. I really appreciate you. Thank you. I'm looking forward to continuing my journey. I believe you will be inspired to begin your journey to your transformation with me. Remember, everyone will start at a different point. We will all achieve different things, but we'll have a lot of fun doing so. We could be learning a craft or participating in an exercise program for ourselves or with our friends. Or maybe you're wanting to try a new food, delighting in the many choices available. You may be just beginning to be aware of what's in the foods that we eat. Every step in this journey towards bettering yourself is fantastic. We are going to revisit a subject that is one of the most important things you can do for your body. Establishing your own food window. A food or eating window is a set time you decide when to take in your calories for the day. An example might be from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. That would be a 12-hour eating window. Another example could be noon to 8 p.m. That would be 8-hour food window. Outside of our food window, one should not consume any calories. This includes liquids. The approved liquids outside our food window are water, black coffee, and tea, such as green tea. Just be careful not to drink liquids like sodas or sweetened teas. Whatever time remains after your food window gives your body time to rest. If your body has the extra time to rest, it's very good at repairing itself. We will give it time to rest and reset if we establish a good food window. Let's talk about my food window. I used to start eating at 11 a.m. and finish my food window at 8 p.m. In a little over a month, 25 pounds had slipped away. I was not hungry and my body responded to having a rest. My elevated blood pressure was normalized. My heart and kidney failure under control. I was no longer short of breath. I felt good. My balance was better. My current eating window is now 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Important things to remember are, you know, folks, it's not about perfection. And some days we will fail. We try to do better and move forward. This is very important not to compare yourself to others. We all have to start somewhere. The fact that you are here is a big step in the right direction. Please, please do not beat yourself up if you fall short of a goal you have set. The idea to creating your food window is to start slow and work your way into a pattern that fits you. If you have three meals a day with several snacks, try limiting your soda intake to only mealtime. Try this for a couple of weeks. Then try having your snacks as your dessert at mealtime. Maybe you start with a 10-hour window from 8 a.m. 
to 6 p.m., whatever fits your schedule for a month or two. After that, try to shorten your food window by an hour. If you are successful, shorten it by another hour. I have to add one thing to try to explain to you why I was so successful with my food window. I didn't have time to go slow. I had to change something because I could not breathe. I was going to be completely dependent on somebody else. I didn't want to depend on somebody else. I knew that I would be all right if I would take better care of myself. I knew I ate more than one. I love food. Love food. I don't think there's any food I don't love. But I had to limit it. So that is why I started my food window. And it brought me to this part of my transformation. The most popular food window is known as the 816. This window, you will have an eight-hour eating period, such as maybe 10 to 6. And then the other 16 hours is to give your body a rest. One important caveat to your eating window is try not to snack between meals. If you are hungry before the next meal, you probably didn't fill yourself up at the last meal. You need to try to eat until you generally feel full. Please remember, if you do snack outside of your meals or eat outside of your eating window, it is okay. Live life. Enjoy food. Don't blame yourself. Just try to move forward. We'll do better next time. Before leaving you, my hope is you take away these two important facts and use them on your journey. Set a food or eating window that works for your schedule. Your body will thank you for putting it first. Remember, take it slow. Be patient. Give yourself some grace and your transformation will happen without you even realizing it. It has been my pleasure to spend time with you today. Take care of yourselves. I'm Bernie. Thank you.